Well, for us in the Isle of Man, the solid lockdown has come to an end. But if you're in the UK, of course, there's still all sorts of restrictions. And uh, Maximum Jonathan Ayo is joining us, uh, a songwriter, actor, all, all round uh, thing you, you're doing. But you're still very remote working, Jonathan, aren't you? I am, yes, yeah. We're still, we're, we're only just coming out sort of um, lockdown, uh, but there's still, there's still restrictions in place. But we're getting there, we're getting there slowly. Well, the reason we're chatting to you today is you kept yourself very busy. You've been uh, composing a song, and, and I want to hear all about this. You co wrote it, I think, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Basically, at the start of lockdown, we started, uh, myself and my writing partner, Richard Healy, um, we started, um, we've been wanting to do projects for, for the last 10 years, and we finally had a chance to sit down and actually finish one of the projects. And we started the song uh, called Forever, uh, with the idea that we would raise money initially for the NHS. But as it went on, we thought, um, we thought we'd spread it out and, and raise money also for the arts, because the amount of people that contributed to this video, we thought we'd want to give something back to them, because they give their their free time to us. So yeah, we started writing this song and it went on from there, basically. Yeah, I mean, obviously the arts has been one of the major problems. I mean, you're, you're a teacher, aren't you? you? You carried on by doing it remotely on Zoom and things like yeah. that. But as far as a lot of you, the people, and, and you've been an actor in your time and still are, uh, it must be devastating to have no work. Yeah, yeah, well, I still am. I'm still on a, on a tour that was cancelled like that and uh, all the work's gone now from this year, possibly till the middle of next year, they're saying. Uh, most of the West End are saying that as well. So. Um, the only thing to keep us going at the moment as performers is to is, is the online singing, the online writing and the online performing. And that seems to be the only way at the moment for the arts to be kept alive. Now, other people have done songs or, or covers, but you, I, mean, this, I think it's probably one of the first we know of that has been specially written for this purpose. Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's why we, we found ourselves we were different. We thought we'd start a song from scratch, um, have a brand new original song, because there's so many songs out there um, doing the same thing, raising money, but we thought, we write one from scratch, and we, what we did, we asked um, all our friends in the business, people people that we didn't know, people we did know, uh, to see if they wanted to be involved, and we sent them all the, uh, the, the basic rough tracks, and we were inundated with about 150 tracks coming through, all filmed, uh, all recorded on iPhones, and, and, and sent to us, and then the hard work obviously had to begin. Okay, well, let's have a pause, let's have just a brief bit of it, because obviously I want people to go and hear the whole thing and, and look at the video, but just, let's just take a time out for a little brief moment to hear what you've been doing. The promises we give to you, our promises we'll keep to you forever. I mean, it almost sounds like Eurovision stuff there, doesn't it, Jonathan? <laughs> <laughs> you know me, love a bit of Eurovision. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's, should, it's very catchy, that's what I meant, I suppose. You know, you hear it once, yeah. you like it. It's funny you should say that, because the Eurovision film was out last week, and that was, um, I actually was in that, I don't know if you saw that. Did you see it, Paul? No, not yet, it didn't get good reviews, but I'm going to watch no, it. No, it didn't, that's, that's not because of my performance. No, I was just in the background of one of the scenes. But yes, we, we thought we'd write something that was catchy, um, had it, had it, had it, had a hook to it, and and it it seems to be doing doing really well. We have got Rhea Jones to endorse it. She's one of the biggest musical bit stars at the moment, and obviously Matthew Kelly, who uh, who I know through Stars in the Rise, he 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 endorsed it at the end and, and gave a little speech at the end, and that's really helped us push this. So how how do people make money? Is it a donation? Do they watch the video and pay? How does it work? Yeah, well, there's a donate button on the on the Facebook group, uh, the site where it's on. It's also on YouTube, but there's links that appear in the video. If you can. People are, are clicking through their direct to the site, so it's um, NHS charities and also acting for um, acting for others, um, and that's they can click direct or there's a button on the Facebook group, but that's only for that's only for the NHS at the moment. Well, I'm glad you're keeping yourself busy. I mean, you had some gigs over here in the Isle of Man this year, which had to be pulled, right? That's true. Yeah, I think it was it was this week. I think it was the 11th, 11th of July. Um, but don't worry, they will be they will be back on hopefully. Once we're allowed back into uh, into the country, <laughs> and um, how does it feel over there? Because I mean, when you had the full lockdown, I mean, I, I know you, you you got your kids coming and that sort of thing, but uh, it's it's pretty tough, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you experienced it too, but maybe not in, as as extreme as us. But yeah, it's tough. It's been thirteen weeks for myself, especially in a, in a flat 
uh, by myself. I contracted the stupid virus as well, which didn't help. Um, but that's yeah, I had it. For, I had lost my sense of taste and smell for sixty days, which wasn't particularly good. But um, we got through it. Everyone else has been in the same boat, and we've just. I think people have come out stronger on top of this. They've come out. Um, um, obviously, it's been a horrific time, but uh, onwards and upwards, and that's what we're trying to promote.